going to an election Live in the hills, but I still get a spread Started with a layer, but I still reinvest it Fear how I feel, then you feel less a blessing I just want the lesson, I just want protection I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like progression but I'm never plans if you break The name of the engine is Permafrost Engine It's written in C, but it has an embedded Python interpreter So, all the low-level logic for the rendering, the pathfinding And basically, everything that has to be fast is all written in C but the top level logic for things like the missions, the quests, the unit attributes, how much uh, health they have, how much damage they do, things of this nature, they're all written in Python. So they, they can easily be modified. Um, here you can see the units moving around. So the engine does make use of flow fields in its pathfinding system. It's not just the flow fields. There's also flocking behaviors and pretty sophisticated collision avoidance behaviors at play as well. And I have a lot of uh, pretty sophisticated debug visualizations um, of the pathfinding system. And I'll go into a lot more detail to showcase it in a future video. For now, I want to just keep it to giving a brief overview. Uh, here, let me just quickly show off the combat. So these units do make us around eventually. And I do have a setting system. And this actually, this UI for this window here, it's an, ex an example of something that can be customized from Python. So, you know, what widgets are in this window, what options they have, and what happens when you select the buttons is actually all defined in Python and can easily be modified without needing to touch the engine source code. And quickly we can see, you can turn off the real-time shadows, off or back on, turn off the water reflections. Um, here we can toggle the health bars and let's go fight these goblins real quick. So the foundations of RTS gameplay are there, but there's still a lot more to do. Um, I need to implement logic for saving and restoring the game, fog of war, ranged combat, and a lot more things. But I'm going to keep working on it, and I'm going to be posting updates here to this YouTube channel. Hey, reason to quit, there's a reason to stay, there's a reason to sit, there's a reason to stray. Life is season again, getting beat if you're thinking that everything is the same. I got some things I should say, do this all in a day. A lot of people complain, so, people so I'm just gonna give a very quick overview of the editor and the capabilities it has so far. So I can place water here, and it uses the marching tiles algorithm to uh, make a smooth transition with the uh, nearby tiles. I can change the elevation. Anytime there's an um, elevation difference of two or more, then this uh, edge is inserted that has a secondary material on it, and this edge is not traversable. But if there's a height difference of just one, then there's a smooth transi transition, and then units can walk up or down these smooth ramps. I can paint the texture of the terrain, so... Yeah, the texture is tiled and it's also blended in real time with the textures of the adjacent tiles for this uh, smooth uh, blended effect. But the blended effect is also optional. So say if I want to uh, not blend uh, with the adjacent materials, I have an option to do that. So there's some flexibility in that. Here in this tab, I can place the objects. So for example, the units you can select the units, change their positions, rotate them around, delete them. Lastly, um, this factions tab where I can add a new faction.
and then I can place units of that faction. So there's still more work to be done in this editor, but these are the foundations that I have so far. I'm gonna keep building on them. Welcome. Welcome to the top, it's the 2020 lesson. Live in the hills, but I still get a spread. Started with a layer, but I still reinvest it. Fear how I feared, and you feel less and blessed. I just want the lesson, I just want protection. I'm up and I'm down, but the sound like.